Oh, Jesus, rainbow, don't burn the house up. Mary and Joseph, pray for me. And Jesus, hold my hand. Just pop down to the uh, St. Francis of Assisi Church out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Mm. I don't know if you know this, but the St. Francis of Assisi Church out of Ann Arbor, Michigan is a rival football team of the Universal Life Church out of Modesto, California. Only they won't play us because they see the way I look. People always see you scare people. And you go, oh, well, I, I, I'm smiling all the time. How can I scare them? And they say it scares them. And you go, oh, well, honest, Linda, it's up to them to be scared whether I did anything to scare them or not they have chosen to be frightened that's their choice that you're holding against me and I cannot be held complicit I was never a part of it outside of my existence I did not lure them in to be frightened of what it is we talk about And so I tuned in to see what the enemy's up to. And he's speaking about how Jesus came and said he is the shepherd of these lost forlorn souls. He is the shepherd. And I say, that's not the Jesus I know. What that tells me is that somebody wrote this down to make for a better story. What Jesus that came here to be either the lion or the lamb with the ax placed in his hands at the roots of the rotted tree to tear it all down. He didn't tear anything down. He just allowed it to continue. But while he was there, he spoke his messages of peace. He spoke to the people. He said, who are you going to be today? Who are you going to be tomorrow? Treat your neighbors as you would have them treat you. But what happens when they don't buy into that? You just go start knocking on their doors every Saturday and say, remember what the Lord said. And they're like, I don't remember that at all. Because, uh, you know, once you benefit from something, uh, you don't care about those that you, which those whom, which, or re, you made suffer. It's easy to forget. So they write these stories and they say, Jesus came and he said, I am your shepherd. And I say, you lied to me. As a lamb, one cannot be a shepherd. As a lamb, one answers to the will of God. Because what man can tell a lamb what it is to be right and wrong it takes a God written right down to your genomes that God that's flying around in the mothership the big spaghetti monster you know
he's supposedly still walking around trying to convince people that he came back from the dead and people are like, hey, you look like that other bum that I saw down by Neiman's. And he's like, it's me. Imagine being a god trying to convince people that you are a god. There's another, another argument on the other side. People always like to say, if God's real, why doesn't he talk to us? And I've always thought every 500 years would be enough. Just every 500. When I think of it, putting it that way. Why would I even bother talking to you? You're going to deny everything I have to say because you do not hold faith. Why would you tell people that you are the shepherd when somewhere between the lion and the lamb If you called yourself the lamb and all the people said, yes, we are lambs too, then you rise up and you say, imagine that, I just became the shepherd. I'm gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna tell you what to do. I'm not gonna live frivolously in the mind of a sheep banging and banging and banging and drinking and banging. Oh, excuse me if I clear my throat. Oh. Banging and banging and banging and banging. This is the work of a shepherd. This is also the work of a sheep. So where do we become one or the other? We can't possibly have a society where everybody's the same, otherwise it will not continue, right? So you got a shepherd who's banging the sheep and a sheep who's banging the other sheep and the sheep that's banging the other sheep doesn't care be about the shepherd banging the sheep that's banging the other sheep because, well, I didn't want to say him or her. There can be any way of banging somebody. I've seen it on TV. And uh, suddenly, the one in the middle doesn't care about those below or those above. And uh, according to Rosicrucians, you're supposed to. As above, so below. What's the opposite? Is, is there an opposite to anything? And I, I came up with it once, but right now. If you can figure out what I'm opposing and share it with me, you might surprise me because so far, I don't know.